In this video, I thought I would show you how to use Blender to modify a truck. First, we need to delete the cube and the camera. We then go to Import STL. Now, I have uh, these files stored in a certain location, so here I am just looking for the file and bringing the STL in. Once the STL comes in, I need to change the angle of the truck. So we go to here, we press M on the keyboard, this will bring this menu up, type in 90 degrees. We've now got the truck at the angle we want. We now want to import a mesh cube. Once the mesh cube comes in, we need to move it to the position we want. And then we will choose scaling. Once you've got the scaling tool, resize the cube so it's big enough to do a boolean cut which will remove part of the truck. So once I'm happy with the size of the cube, I will then use the move tool and reposition the cube where I want it to do the cutting. This can be a little bit fiddly and time consuming but making it possible for you to take an STL truck, which was on Thingiverse, and modify it to make it slightly different. So here you can see I've got it in the basic position I want for backwards and forwards. Now I just need to get it in the right place for up and down. Once I'm happy with this, I say this is a little bit fiddly, but it's very doable. So once I've got it in the position I want, the next thing I need to look at doing is click on the truck. So it's now highlighted in orange. We now need to go to the spanner tool and we're going to use a modifier. We're going to use the Boolean modifier. In the Boolean modifier, we need to make sure we're in object and then we need to drop down here and we're going to say use cube. Once we've done that, we need to make sure we're in the, this right hand difference is collect and then click apply. You'll see here it's then disappeared. You can click on the eye icon and you can see now this is what we've got. We now need to bring back the cube, click on the cube and delete the cube. We then Highlight the truck, file, export, STL, save it where you want it, give it the name, export, and you should be able to bring that into your slicer of choice and create this model. 